Hi, this is Emily with Norwalk. Welcome back. Today we're going to work on steps four and five of the quick start guide for your new Juicer 290. Right here on the side are your power switches on and off. Moving on to the back, you'll find the circuit breaker, which is this switch right here. This needs to be in the on position before you start. Right below it is the power. This plugs right in to here for your electricity. On the opposite side of the power buttons is this lever. Now this operates the press plate. In up position, the press plate goes up and down, the press plate goes back down. Next we're going to move on to the juice tray. Now you can see the juice tray has a little spout in the front and on the back it has a little clip. When you're putting the juice tray on, you want to push it all the way back until you can clip that on. Now, you can see that it won't move. It's pretty secured on there. Next, we're going to put the cutter on. And on the cutter, there's a little key on the inside that matches up to this key groove on the machine. So you match them up, twist if you need to, and then just push it on with the palm of your hand. This is the retro offset housing. Now when you put this on, you want to turn it slightly just so you can clear the knobs on the side. Put it back upright and you want to secure the knobs finger tight. And I want to stress finger tight, not too tight. We do supply this knob wrench in case you do get it too tight, that you can unscrew it, but do not use this to tighten the knob, just through fingers. Next, we're going to do the grid and the grid holder. Now, you'll find this inside the housing when your machine ships to you. This is the juicing grid, and on the grid holder, there's a little lip here that the juicing grid fits right into so that it sits flush. You want the grid on top when you put it into the housing. Next we have the feed pan. Now the feed pan goes right on top here and there's a little indention here where the feed pan goes. You just want to push, twist a little bit until it's secure. Last, we have the pusher. This is used to push your produce into your machine. Now, all of these parts are dishwasher safe. So, let's get started. 